Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so I recently did a video on my YouTube channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. It's a Bolo category video on Squishmallows. Now, what I found is on eBay, it is very, very hard to know if somebody actually paid for the item. And there's a lot of where the bidding is like, they have zero feedback and then there's also like you can check the feedback like I show you in the video, but a lot of people don't leave feedback. So I was trying to think of another option for looking for the ones that go for big money. Now, another item that this happens with is Disney VHS and TY, Ty, I, I think they're called TY, the plush. They get um, bid up. And I, I don't know, people call, they think it's like uh, money laundering or something like that. And I, I don't know. I think in most cases, I have no idea what it is, to be honest with you. But it does make it hard for resellers to comp things. So I had this idea, and I'm going to do it with you guys. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to comp some stuff on Mercari, where if somebody buys it, they're automatically billed for it. So we don't have to question, oh, did they pay? Yes, they paid because they have to pay on Mercari, which I wish eBay would do this. I mean, how awesome would it be if payment was automatic on eBay? I know that I would love that. And um, I mean, even like they have the buy it now where you can just pay, ask them to pay immediately. But if you have best offer, you don't have that option. But why not? Because I take offers on Mercari all the time and I get immediate payment. Same with Poshmark, immediate payment. So I wish eBay would change that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's go to, let's start with the TY, the plush. Uh, let me get my screen share up. And we're going to go, I've already got it pulled up. And what I did is I put in TY plush and I sorted by sold items and over here, highest priced first. So um, these beanie boos definitely can be a bolo. They're the ones with the sparkly big eyes. Um, I have one listed that's pretty big right now and it's not moving. So I'm going to guess it's kind of like anything else. Some are more sought after than others. Um, yeah, like this one went for 111. This one went for 110. This is Twigs, the rare beanie baby went for 95. I mean, I, it's hard to tell on eBay. So this is at least telling me which ones could be valuable. Like this, what is it? Pink Patty went for $58. I mean, that's just amazing to me. I have no idea why this boot is in here. Um, yeah, so you can see this guy right here went for 54. It's Frost. So it looks like Frost is a bolo. Um, he's a beanie boo and he sold for 110 with tags here. This one looks like it's a more pre owned and it went for 54. This one says tag error. I mean, that's another thing, you guys. If you collect these or know anything about these beanie babies, are they really that much more valuable if there's an error on the tag. Let me know if you know in the comments. Um, oh my goodness, look at these. These are uh, beanie monsters. Monstars is what they say. Those are cute. Um, so yeah, this just gives you an idea of some of the ones that are more sought after. Again, it's the beanie boos. Um, I've sold beanie boos. I do pick them up at garage sales if I see them for a decent price. I do not pick up the other ones. That is just my personal preference. Um, oh my goodness, look at this one. It's a little bear. And it says TY, but it's got, the, it's a not bear, it's a pig. Oh my goodness, it's a pig with the babies. So it looks like the this is a mama with her babies. This is a mermaid. So that's, you know, Disney related. So I would I would pick something up like that. Anything that is like a Beanie Baby character, like um, I think I have one that is from a pet's life, I'm going to list that one. It'll probably be bread and butter, but I'm, I'm willing to list that one. But you can see, I mean, they're not going for big money. Like this is Easter. So that makes sense, you know, kind of probably a hot item right now. 
And some of the characters, I think that just people collect and they want them for that reason. And Mercari is buy it now or best offer. So um, there's no bidding on these. But again, like Hello Kitty went for $25. These are the Max and Ruby TY, again, from a cartoon, Ninja Turtles cartoon. So um, I think this is the one I have, only it's a big one. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe she's just not as popular. Bananas and Pajamas. I didn't know those were made by TY, but Scooby-Doo. I don't know if he's a TY or if they've just got TY in the description. But yeah. Um, Alvin, uh, and the chipmunks, I have sold the chipmunks. I think mine were beanie babies. So yeah, they're, you guys, they're hit and miss. You're not going to make tons of money on them unless you find a really special one. And you can see, um, kind of what those are. So this is a TY Paw Patrol, uh, Sky, and she's a big one that sold for 20. So, all right, let's look at the Disney VHS, the Black Diamonds. I did not pull up Black Diamond, but I did put in Disney VHS. So um, now this is the Simpsons. So I'm not really thinking of the Simpsons. I'm more thinking of like the Disney princess movies. Um, so here's one that sold for 35. You can see guys, there's nothing above $220 that is Disney VHS that sold on Mercari. So that is a good indicator that anytime you see something like, even if it's a black diamond or whatnot on eBay, it's probably just not true. Um, let's go over here. Let me show you. Um, I'm undersold. Oh, hmm. how do I get out of sold? I don't know how. Oh, here. Okay, so I'm out of sold. And I'm under highest first. So you can see that there's people asking crazy prices. So definitely do not search active listings to comp out what your item is worth. Okay. Because there's always people that are going to list things for $2,000 that are worth $5. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just, this is crazy. This is nonsense. You saw the solds. I mean, I just, I, it's unbelievable to me really that, um, but nothing's selling, you know, none of these items are selling. I don't even know why people waste their time with this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, because I mean, thousand dollars. And this is why people think that these are worth that kind of money because I go to a garage sale and they're like, oh, that's worth a lot of money. I'm like, are you looking at solds? Or are you looking at active listings? They're like, oh, this active listing. I'm like, you can't look at that. That doesn't mean anything. Anybody can ask anything for any item. Oh, we're down to $700 now. <laughs> it's just crazy. Here's the Lion King. It doesn't even have a slip cover for $608. Oh, that's a bargain. All right, let's get to what is trending right now. These squish mallows. And you know what? Actually, before we do that, um, I want to look up uh, Boyd's Bears because I sell a lot of Boyd's Bears. And um, most of them are bread and butter. Okay, so we're going to go over here to the side and I'm looking for sold and I'm going to search highest first because I have a video coming out soon on my Bolo Buddies channel for some items that are trending. And I'm wondering if they're trending over here or if this is a place where I may be able to snag them cheap and they are not trending over here. So it is an eBay thing. I may go in and see if there are any listed. Okay. So they are not trending over here. So look for that video. It's going to be on Boyd's Bears on my um, Bolo Buddies, my main channel, which I am almost to 9,000 subscribers. So please subscribe if you're not already. Um, it's a, a big milestone. I'm really excited to get to 10,000. So sub that channel up and there's a link down in the description. Okay, so the Squishmallows. Here are the solds. Here are your big money Squishmallows. Again, I did a video on this channel doing eBay 
comps and I showed you guys how to dig a little deeper and um, look up comps, but uh, it, it's really hard to tell like which ones are trending. So this is awesome. And I'm so glad I thought to do this and share this with you guys because we know that these sold because on Mercari, payment is automatic. Look at this. Okay, Jack the Cat. Now that was one in my eBay video that I was pretty certain sold, but they're selling for more, I think on Mercari. There was a cow that, um, this was another one, but I think it sold in the, you guys will have to go watch the video, the eBay, um, Squishmallow eBay on this channel. And um, look for this one because I think it went for like 200 and something. And it went for 450 over here. 360 for the mushroom. Uh, now it says reserved. So I'm not sure. Um, maybe there's another one, another picture. So we won't look at that one. Yeah. I mean, they're definitely going for really good money on Mercari. So if you guys have these, I would highly suggest that you put them over here. This one this cow was one that was doing well on eBay, but I don't think any of them went for $2.99 that I saw. Now, eBay only goes back 90 days, so um, that makes a difference also. I think there was one of the stingrays that I saw on eBay. That was one that I had mentioned, but um, it didn't go for $2.90. I, I think it was less. Same with this guy. There were several, and I, if I remember correctly, they went for around $219. Um, so this one went for more on Mercari. But as we scroll down, you know, this one only went for 230 only, <laughs> but you're going to see some different, um, different pricing scales, you know, some that went for less. I'm, I searched highest. So as we scroll down, we're going to see prices that get lower. Like this one's 195 for that same cow. It, it seems like the cows are really trending right now. People are really wanting the cows. I don't know. I mean, they do feel really squishy and really cool. Um, and if you go watch my other video, I tell you why they are trending. So uh, go check that out. Just search Squish Mallow on my channel. And yeah, so they are a hot, hot item right now. And definitely stay tuned for that Boyd's, um, Boyd's Bear video. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, look at this one. I haven't seen that one. A little seal. Super cute. So if you guys collect Squishmallows, let us know in the comments, like, why you love them or um, which one you're looking for. And I don't know. I just think it's kind of fun to, to learn the burger and fries. That's cool. It went for 150 so yeah, this is a great way to search for comps, comparables, and it's also, um, I think it's more accurate. I mean, there's no returns, so you know, it didn't get returned. Unless, of course, somebody was like dishonest with their description or something like that. Now let's do this, just so you guys know. So I showed you that really T or the TYs and the um, the Beanie Babies and the VHS are really, it's just not true. But the Squishmallows, there are some that are big money, but we are going to sort lowest first. Okay. So these are the smaller ones um, and they're going for like five bucks guys. Um, but these are really tiny. And it looks like the buyer's paying shipping on most of these. Let's keep scrolling here. I'm gonna, it got stuck. It's not keeping up. Okay, so I don't know why. Well, that says reserved, but it says $5. Isn't that frog supposed to be like special? Um, I just had somebody uh, say that their son sold the frog for $100 on Mercari. I don't know if it was new with tags or pre-owned, but um, they left me a comment on one of my videos. It might have been the Squishmallow video, actually. But it sold a frog for $100. On, I'm guessing it's the green frog. 
I think there was a TikTok video on that. Somebody said, but don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, all of these lower price ones are the smaller ones. And I can't filter by like items that sold in the middle. So yeah, I, let's see, let's do this. Um, let me get back up here. Squish mallow, squish mallow, plush frog. Okay, so look at all these frogs. Um, let's go to let's go to solds. I'm just curious about the frog because that's the one I feel like I keep hearing about. And they maybe they're different because that one had like a yellow body. See how some are yellow and some are white. Wonder if that makes a difference. Let's see. Let's look at solds highest first. Okay. No results found. Uh, okay. That's weird. Huh. Did it just delete? Yeah, it took me out of solds. That, did you guys see that? That was weird. These all say sold. Highest first. No results found. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll just have to scroll. I don't know why it's doing that. Best match. So 50, 60, 70. 70 is the highest I've seen, but they said he sold it for 100. So I probably just haven't got to it yet. 75, $94. That's good. So I would say the frog, it looks like ranges between 40 and what, 100, depending on the size and the colors. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. I wish I could sort by um, highest first. That's really odd. All right, you guys. So let me know. Are you um, are you searching Mercari for comps? Kind of a good idea, right? I think so. Um, for at least for things like that, that it's questionable on eBay. So I'm going to start to utilize that more. I think even Poshmark might be a good place to go because. Um, Again, immediate payment required. So, and you can sell toys on Poshmark now. So if you guys are not selling on Poshmark, um, you can do hard goods, toys. Um, there's like home, but I mean, of course you can still do clothes, but uh, all, most all of my Poshmark what sold videos that I share on my main Bolo Buddies channel are hard goods. I don't share the clothing. I just share the hard goods and the toys and the stuff that I'm selling on Poshmark. So if you want to know more about Poshmark and maybe potentially some items other than clothes that you can sell on that platform, go over to my main Bolo Buddies, just Bolo Buddies channel and um, type in Poshmark in the search bar and it'll pull up all of my what sold videos. And you guys can check that out. It's um, definitely a great platform for hard goods. And I also sell on Mercari. So I do have... Um, videos. And most of those, I really only share the hard goods also. So that's more what um, I'm teaching is hard goods more than clothes. I'm trying to get out of clothes and I'm trying to learn about hard goods. So to me, it makes the most sense for me to try to educate myself on things that I'm trying to learn as I teach you guys and we learn together. Um, I have a lot of Bolo category videos. So those are where I pick a category like I did one on this channel for Pyrex. So I research Pyrex and I let you guys know things to look for. Um, on my other Bolo Buddies channel, like I've got tons. I've got Halloween, I've got Christmas, I've got in the kitchen, I've got bathroom Bolos. Um, tons, tons of different category videos over there. So definitely made in Japan, new old stock, um, I think expired, lots of them. So go over there and check those out. And again, I'm almost to a thousand subscribers. I may be there by the time I show this video, but if not, or even if I am, be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, share it if you like the video. And as always, thanks for watching.